Hello, hello, everybody. So it's Jaden again from Total Developers. Today we will be writing a smart contract, and deploying it to the Polygon testnet. Okay, so first things first is we grab MetaMask and Add a network to it. Press add network manually. And from here, we type in Matic test net by by is the test net currently. For RPC URL, we go on to chainlist.org, do a search for Polygon and include the test nets. Okay, so. Out of all these test nets, we will press buy and then get a list of test nets available on Mobi's test nets. And for just this example, I'm going to click this one and just grab this URL and go back to MetaMask. Paste it here. And for chain ID, press type in eight zero 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 one. Then for the symbol, type in Matic. The block explorer, that option, you can leave that blank. said and done, you should have this here. You go ahead and copy that if you like. This now enables us to connect to the testnet. So from here, we want to go to faucet polygon technology. URL is right at the top. Here. Okay, and from there, we go ahead back into our MetaMask, grab our address code, stick it into here, and then press submit. Make sure Mumbai as the network is selected. We have everything and make sure our address is correct. Once everything is correct, go ahead and press confirm. And we should see a couple transactions in here. Yes, there it is. So we did receive some Matic testnet from the faucet. So we're now able to go to the remix IDE to start our contract. Okay, so what we do here is let's press new file and let's call this file my first polygon contract dot SOL to solidity. This is the language for connecting to blockchain. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're on the current compiler. So we could just copy this or make sure that it depends on when you're watching this video. Uh, but this right now is the current compiler that everybody can use that will compile and deploy code. So 
follow along here, but I am now going to start creating a contract. Contract keyword, and then we can type the name of the file. So my first polygon contract We can add some variables into this. So variable string, which is private. We can call that name. We also have another variable, which is an integer, an unsigned integer, which is private to this class only, or this contract only. So we're going to essentially create getters and setters in this contract. So we could do this by creating a function called set name, it takes the parameter, there's a string found in memory called new name, declared to be public. We essentially, inside of this function, we write name equals the parameter, which is new name. And this essentially sets the name that any user Set and user enters. Let's write a getter to get the name. This is can be done with the function get name, which takes the parameter string found in memory. It doesn't take any parameters actually. It Returning a name. So we, we ask the public function to return a value as the string from the memory. And it is. So from here, we also have to create a function called set amount, which can be done almost. Same way as set name. So let's we copy set name. Um, we clearly need to change the name of the function and then we need to declare it to be the parameter, declare the parameter to be an integer. And look something like this. So you went. New amount should be that new amount, and it's a public function. And then we call the variable amount and set that to the parameters new amount. Cool. All right. Now we need to create a function called get that amount, which can be done with. similar to get name, but in this function here, we change the function name to get amount, and it needs to, instead of returning a string, it needs to return unsigned integer. That looks something like that. Change that to amount. This, this contract is ready to go. Uh, so let's do a preliminary check Press compile. <laughs> Make sure we write everything correctly. And the function, the contract now compiles correctly. So we want to press compile first contract, our first polygon contract. We just created this. Then we want to press. This button right over here. This button. From there, we want to press inject to provider MetaMask. Click on MetaMask, and it will ask you to connect with MetaMask. And Remix is the IDE, so we are going to press next. We're going to allow it to connect to MetaMask. Once it does, it should have access to all our faucets, Matic. 
the faucet, and then we will be able to now deploy our contract. So we can now press deploy, which now asks us to, to, to deposit some Matic into the contract. Press confirm, just to power the, the blockchain. As you can see, our transaction was confirmed. So our contract is now on the blockchain. So as you can see here, the contract has now been deployed. We can start inserting data into it. So let's say we want to set the amount to one trillion. Four, five, six, one trillion. Now we can set the name to Jaden. So setting the amount cost gas, as you can see. Setting the name cost gas, as you can see. Our transaction was confirmed. See down here too. Our second transaction was confirmed again. Now we can press get amount. See, it's now 1 billion, 1 trillion. We also can get our name now. It's now Jaden. So as you can see that just through that simple 27 line of code here, we've now been able to deploy contracts to the blockchain as well as manipulate data inside the blockchain, such as getting the amount and setting the name. So if you like the code, go ahead and use it or try it on your own. Uh, but this is just the, the test net. Uh, and then the main net will, video will be posted soon. All the best. Have a good, have a good one.